Worship and Persecution Today's reading was Job chapters 1 and 2 and Revelation chapter 9 verses 1 through 12. <clears throat> I wasn't sure really how to title today's thoughts from my Bible reading as what Job faced some might not really consider it as being persecution or as what we tend to view persecution as being, but we see in Job 1 verse 20, then Job arose, tore his robe, shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and worshipped. We see this verse show up after a series <clears throat> of four of his servants coming to him in urgency, explaining how different aspects of his wealth had been completely wiped out, with the final servant actually bringing news of the death of all of his offspring, which at that time was just as much a sign of one's status and wealth and being blessed as material possessions were. And with all this bad news going basically from a successful man and probably one of the richest in that area to completely desolate with nothing but a wife who eventually tells him, do you still hold fast your integrity? Curse God and die. But Job doesn't follow his wife's advice, luckily, but rather he worships God. He realizes everything is granted to him by God. His life, his possessions, his liberty, everything. And he re recognizes that God also has the power to take it away. You see, it is easy to worship God when things are going great or even when things are just okay. But when it feels like everything is going down the drain, our lives are heading for the gutter, everything is against us, worshiping feels harder to do. But it is in those tough times where we need God the most. And it is in those times when we should take note from Job's, from Job's attitude and turn to God and worship. I pray that each of us will not only worship God in the good times, but to worship God when times are hard. Thank you, and have a blessed day.